Hey you guys, what's up? I just got to my room in Seattle. This is my, my view, a tree and some streets, but you know, you can kind of see out there, back there a little bit, but um, my room is really nice. And I already love this hotel because they literally had champagne waiting as I checked in. So I was like, hell yeah, I'll take a glass of champagne. And then I also got some goodies from the Create and Cultivate team. Um, let's see what's in here really quick. Okay, so we have this first. What is this? Oh, it's like a little t-shirt in here. What does it say? Roll me in fairy dust and call me a unicorn. <laughs> This is a good workout little tank top though. I like it, I like it. Oh, it is a workout set. It has leggings, yay. Oh my gosh, <laughs> thick AF. Uh, <laughs> I love it. I don't even know what brand this is. This is so cute. Okay, so got that, which I will definitely be using because you guys know I'm on my little health kick and I've been going hard in the gym lately, so that will definitely get used. Also got this, it is um, sunscreen. This is one and done white bronzer with ink drink complex. What is this? Oh, it's tanning lotion. Oh, it's tanning lotion. Eh, I won't need that, but okay, cool. Another unicorn thing, a little keychain. Um, oh, I guess this is probably all this brand. And then some hair ties and ooh, some little henna tattoos. Okay, cool. That's first. And then what else? Some little cards. Um, yeah. More stuff. Ink. Okay. There's this little pack with like stuff in it. What are these? Oh, like stickers and stuff. Oh, cool. So this is for when you like organize your planner and stuff. Oh my gosh. This makes me like want to go plan, want to go use a planner. And what is this? DIY studio. It's a little hat. <laughs> That's so random. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> And then there's this, my little years, a toddler journal. Oh my gosh, I have to give this to Simone for my niece, Kaya. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Aw, so you can write little things. Oh, that is so cute. Aw, yes, this is definitely going to Simone for Kaya. And then what else do we have in here? We have this, another keychain from Studio DIY. And this, which is a little pouch. Oh, another little like thing from Studio DIY. I think it's just a, like a makeup pouch or something. And then this, a marker. I'm assuming for, oh, they did give us a planner, yay! Oh my gosh. Y'all, I used to love my planner in college. That was the only way I could stay organized. Uh, I could never use like Google Calendar or anything back then. I just, it just didn't work for me. Now I use Google Calendar, but um, yay. Okay, now I have to start using like a paper planner now because this is like these are expensive too like these are like the really nice ones let's see oh yay this is so cool oh my gosh even more reason to get my life together because <laughs> i have a new planner <laughs> okay what else do, 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 do. um let's see there is adventure brand what is this i think it's a handkerchief oh yeah it's like a headband oh so you can use it for like different things okay cool i'll take it um oh and it shows you different ways you can tie it cool then there's this uh little journal cool 
cool. I love journals, y'all. I love journals, so I'm here for it. And then this is, what is this? We're bringing the old back. What is this? Happy mail. Okay. Beautiful mess. Oh, so it's like a set to like send people cards. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, that is awesome. I love that. Taking it old school, taking it back with the handwritten cards. I love it. I feel like all this stuff is so like Etsy, <laughs> right? Like all this stuff you should be able to get on Etsy.com. But yeah, that is all the goodies that we got upon our arrival. But it feels a little weird not getting at least one beauty product. Isn't that like, I don't know. I feel weird only because I'm so used to getting like 50 million beauty products. But I'm glad though because at BeautyCon and like other things that I go to, like I wouldn't get stuff like that. So this is cool. This is kind of like out of my element a little bit. But I'm excited to expand to myself and like talk about other things outside of just focusing solely on like makeup and hair and more so talking about women in beauty and the industry and building your brand as a woman in this space on the internet or just in regular life i'm excited to hear other women's stories as well i'm really eager to learn and to be exposed to other lifestyles and other career avenues that i don't even know about right now so yeah i'm excited to just see what cool stuff um people are doing so yeah i'm gonna chill for a bit um the flight i was on literally was like 30 minutes it wasn't even anything and i worked out like i rushed and worked out before i got on the flight so i'm kind of tired from that earlier so i'm gonna chill i'm gonna drink my champagne and then i'll probably do a get ready with me or something later maybe i think i will i think i will all right peace I almost forgot to show you guys my actual room. Yo, they literally, okay, so I called, right? Because I had this food right there. And I was like, is there microwaves in the rooms? And they're like, oh, no, there's not. But we can bring you one. And I was like, wait, you can bring me a whole microwave? So they literally just brought me a whole microwave. <laughs> I'm like, um, okay, that's cool. I've never had that before or experienced that before so i'm gonna warm up my food right there but i wanted to show you guys the room so that's the good size tv there's my backpack um the view like i showed you guys a second ago um the bed area which it's a king size bed i love those end tables oh anything marble i just love um so yeah there's that oh my gosh i low-key just scared myself <laughs> I don't know how I just did that. This is my travel outfit, by the way. Just a little Nike jumpsuit with my Vapor Maxes, which are so, so comfortable. Um, yeah, and I got my cow pack um, suitcase. I posted this on Instagram today. I literally got the entire set, like the big bag, the small bag, the organizer, the hat box, everything, because I was just like, I need it all i need it all because it's all cute and i want everything to match so that's what i did um this is the bathroom which i am loving yes light yes oh my gosh yes yes i'm here for it um yes shower oh my gosh y'all i'm obsessed with bathrooms at hotels like I'm one of those people that I will seriously look at the bathroom and if the bathroom isn't bomb, I'm not I'm not staying there like even if the room is super small, but the bathroom is awesome, I will still book it because the bathroom is awesome. But yeah, that's my little tour of my little room. I'm only here for a night, so it's it's nothing, you know, lavish. Well, it is a little lavish. No, I will say this is pretty lavish. I'm not going to lie, y'all. They gave me champagne upon entry. This is lavish, but it's not that big. But that's fine. It's just me, and I'm only here for a night, like I said. But yeah, I will see you guys in a few. Guys, this is the finished look. This is what I'm wearing tonight. I brought out the boots because it's finally time. It's finally time. Yes. 
Yes, yes, boot weather. Yes, fall. Yes. This top <laughs> is from Naked Wardrobe. These are from Express. My shoes are from Aldo. I got these last year. Well, actually, my sister gave them to me last year, but she got them last year. And then let's look at this face. I will show you guys in here what we got going on for this look today. We have just a chill eye. Um, this red lip classic night moth lip liner with a uh, fashion legacy. I think it is a retro matte red lipstick from Mac. So yeah, I haven't worn a red lip in a long time, but I kind of miss it. I think it looks so good. Let me give y'all the real, sorry, I was do, trying to do it the other way. But yes, this is the face we got going on today. I'm so impressed with the way my makeup looked. I was gonna do a get ready with me, but then I just got sidetracked. I was on the phone and I was trying to get ready. So let me know if you guys wanna see a video on this look because I can totally film it like next week or something for you guys. But yeah, we have big hair today. This is four day hair and I'm literally wearing five day hair tomorrow because I'm just like in this whole big hair mode today or lately really. Um, so yeah, I'm already late. I need to go downstairs, but I am headed to the happy hour and then we are going to the Create Cultivate dinner before everything jumps off tomorrow. gosh y'all so it's dark now <laughs> um tonight was so like amazing because i was able to well first off i didn't know anyone here i literally did not know anyone here except my manager and she actually couldn't even come to the actual dinner that we had for all the speakers and so I was by myself. There were no place cards even um, at the dinner. So I literally just had to like find a seat, sit by random people. And it ended up being so good because I ended up sitting with some women who work with Refinery29. And I've done a few projects with Refinery29 before. And so, but I hadn't worked with them specifically. And we just had some amazing conversation about just life and uh, the beauty industry and content creation and just all that stuff and um, it was just awesome. I love being in the presence of strong, passionate women. I think that that is an energy that you cannot recreate at all. It is such an organic and powerful energy that I definitely felt tonight. So that was great and um, I got to meet molly from insecure y'all <laughs> i hugged her i thanked her for everything she's doing like she was so sweet and so nice so i'm hoping that i can catch isa tomorrow that is my goal if i don't you know it's fine i will catch isa at some other point but if i can catch isa ray tomorrow my weekend will be complete and i will be a happy 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 girl so yeah yeah <laughs> I don't know I just feel like I just feel so blessed to do what I do I'm so blessed that this is like my life that this is my job that this is what God has chosen for me. And I just thank him so much for
for allowing me to be who I am, doing what I love, connecting with people that are just so freaking cool and awesome in their own right. And um, yeah, it's just, this is already everything I wanted this weekend to be. I wanted this weekend to be something that was challenging because it's not something that I usually do. It's not the usual community that I'm around. Um, it's not beauty focused completely. Like there is some beauty here and there and fashion and stuff, but it's not all that. And um, I'm just happy that I've been given this opportunity to just experience something different. and be around different people and do different things. So uh, tonight was awesome. And um, yeah, I'm really happy that I came and I'm really happy that I'm here. So yeah, I'm gonna straighten up a little bit. I got so much stuff, y'all. Like, first off, the fact that, okay, I have this engraved Crown Royal bag. It says Create Cultivate. <laughs> I have a secret to tell y'all. So, when I was younger, my parents seriously had crown roll bags all over the house 24 7. Like, I had a crown roll backpack as like a first grader. Like, yeah. My parents were heavy crown drinkers. And now I love Apple Crown. Like, me and Mark keep Apple Crown on deck. Okay. That is our drink of choice. So, the fact that we got these was so funny to me because I'm like, yo, they know me. Like, I'm a brown girl. Like, give me some Hennessy. Give me some crown. Like, that, that's who I am and that's what I do now, okay? In my seasoned years, in my seasoned 20s. Uh, yeah, so this is so dope. Um, and it came with a little keychain and stuff. And then we also got these uh, parachute bags. Which I'm like, I don't know what this is, but let's see what it is. I think, oh, it's a robe. It's a robe. So it's like this big old robe, which I freaking love robes. I have one at home that I wear all the time. Um, so yeah, and then this big, huge, oh my gosh, you guys, there's this like, it's like too much. It's too much stuff in here. Stella and Dot, um, this is something, I don't even know. What is this? Oh, something fell out. Oh, they're fragrances, express fragrances that fell out of my bag because it was literally stacked. <sighs> yeah, another express fragrance. But yeah, today was just awesome and I'm really, really happy. And um, I hope that, you know, uh, I hope that y'all are realizing that you can create the life that you want okay you do not have to live the way that people around you think you should live you don't have to live the way that you your parents think that you should live you don't have to live how anybody wants you to live except the way that you choose to and when I realized that, when I realized that I could create the world that I wanted to live in, I could create the life that I wanted, and I could have, I had the power to do that, it was a done deal at that point, obviously. <laughs> it was a done deal at that point. Um, I just want y'all to know that because I can do what I do now, that means that you can do it too. That means that you can change your life. That means that it doesn't take much, but a mind shift. Um, it doesn't take a lot because once you start focusing on what is meant for you and what you truly desire out of life, then all of a sudden things will just start happening. Things will just start happening for you that you're like, how am I here? And I'm not qualified for this, but I'm getting this promotion. How am I? You won't understand it. Because once you start walking the path that you're supposed to be on, God is like, perfect. Finally, I can give you the blessings that are made for you. I can get you to where I want you to be. But you have to trust him. 
And you have to trust in God and trust in your skills and your desires to do more and to become something that you aren't today. Because where you want to go takes work. Where you want to be takes diligent and consistent work. And it takes time. Y'all know I started this journey. <sighs> If y'all want to be really real about it, I started this internet journey, this life on social media journey when I was 14 years old. That is when people started making fake accounts of me. And I never will say that that doesn't have any part of why I am where I am because it does. And something so ugly that used to be such a burden and something that stressed me out so much the cyberbullying that I went through all got me to this point today. So just know that your struggles while you're going through them may feel like the end of the world, may feel like they're never ending. Just know that they are meant for you to grow and to get through in order to get to where you're supposed to be. So no matter where you are in your life, understand that everything has purpose. Good, bad, ugly, and everything in between has purpose. If it's happening to you, there's a reason why it's happening. And even if you cannot understand why at that moment, know that the truth will reveal itself over time. And you're going to look back and you're going to be like, whoa. I'm so glad I went through that because if I hadn't, I wanted to have learned this and that and this and that. And now that I'm where I am now, I'm using the skills and the lessons that I learned when I went through that struggle. So just be faithful and be, be steadfast in your journeys to getting to the better version of yourselves. Don't give up on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't give up. So, okay, I'm done rambling and kind of preaching to y'all a little bit. But, um, yeah, tomorrow's going to be awesome. I'm going to hit the hay, settle down a bit, and we are getting started early tomorrow. I have to be ready to go by 7 a.m. Makeup, hair, everything. So, yeah, I need to get my butt into bed.
from my house to a 17,000 square foot apron factory in Los Angeles. And I would say that my favorite part about being not only the leader of this troop is that I get to do stuff like that within my team. And I get to stand up in front of them and say, this is how we're going to do it. And I know you've seen something very, maybe very different in your other businesses, wherever you've worked. But this is the culture at Headley and Bennett, and it's going to be awesome. I literally just got done with the panel first off my hair is probably as big as it could possibly be right now because it started raining um, which then just allowed my hair to just like literally expand which I'm not mad at it honestly um, it's still got some definition but like I told y'all this is like five day hair so um, I'm didn't even know what to expect because I never wear my hair um in a wash and go for this long without like touching it really so yeah it still looks good but anyway um just got finished with the panel it was really great the other women that were on the panel with me were super cool and just like their stories were amazing um obviously i will tag everyone in this video that i spoke with um and everyone that i saw and met and stuff but it was really great uh i could tell that this is like not my usual space like i told you guys before um lots of bloggers lots of like business women and stuff and so coming from like my perspective as like a youtuber content creator and doing what i do was so cool just to like hear their um perspectives and hear like their experiences in the beauty space so that was awesome i'm kind of dragging right now um it is like close to four o'clock i have two out of the three things that i have to do done for the day so i'm um actually two out of the four things I have to go take some photos with Express um, in like uh, about 10 minutes or 15 minutes or so and then I am going to be hosting Express is um, happy hour so I'll be like interviewing people and seeing how their experience was and doing that live for Express so yeah it was awesome um, this is actually my first time working with Express and they've been really great um, I used to wear Express like all through college. Anytime I needed like a business outfit or um, anything like that, I would always go to Express. And I haven't shopped there in so long. And so when I got this opportunity to work with them, it brought me back into the brand and into the store. And I was trying clothes on and I'm actually wearing all Express today. And I've been so comfortable, like so comfortable. And I wore, those pants even last night were so comfortable that I had on so I'm like I've been sleep on Express I don't know why <laughs> but um, yeah I'm definitely gonna be like shopping there more because I don't know their their vibe is definitely like more me as far as like um, being old, a little bit older and not and not being you know 19 20 years old anymore but still wanting like trendy clothes but like great quality clothes you know and and affordable um and um you know available too you know so because there's like expresses everywhere but yeah um i'm just literally chilling right now trying to like compose and gain some energy back um and uh yeah and getting ready for later so i will uh check back in with you guys in a few <laughs>
It is 7 p.m. you guys and I am about to do my last job of the day. We're waiting for everything to wrap up. Mandy Moore is speaking right now on stage. Um, I've got to do a little live session with Express for their um, happy hour and yeah. then I'm off to the airport and I am going home. So it is a 11 hour day already um, so I'll be probably leaving here around 8 first off though can we talk about my makeup I have not touched it up except my lip my lash is coming off a little bit but I haven't had to touch up my makeup or anything since 7 30 7 actually since 7 a.m. this morning I did my makeup and I left the hotel at 7 so I finished my makeup at like what 6 55 or something crazy but yeah and it hasn't moved at all so I'm definitely gonna have to do a video on this foundation because it literally stay put all day and I'm talking about it rained I have been under lights I have been outside multiple times in and out and it hasn't moved <laughs> at all I'm like hella impressed right now so I'll definitely have to do a video on this look um, probably a mix of today and last night because last night I basically did the same foundation routine I just switched the lip um, yeah so y'all Becca because this is the Becca uh, complexion foundation or something it's like the new one that they came out with and so yeah I'm gonna definitely have to uh, let y'all know because I use their primer their powder everything and it is just like stay to put all day long so I'm like, I'm impressed, y'all, I'm impressed. But yeah, so I'm just waiting. It's a little nip out here, it's cold. Uh, it's about time for things to wrap up, so I'm just kind of waiting, and um, yeah. <laughs>